Gary, probably fair to say we weren't at our best today, but sometimes it's just about getting the three points. That was probably the worst 45 minutes I've witnessed since I've been here. Uh, we had nothing. It was 35 minutes before we had a shot, Dylan had a shot and the keeper saved it. Um, I think the break hasn't helped us, you know, the international break, we're a team that likes to keep going, the momentum and that, so, but at the end of the day we got the three points and that's all that mattered. Yeah. Second half, we took the game to Partick, so it looked like there'd been a, a few words exchanged at half time, I suspect there probably were. Well no, not really, I think the players knew themselves anyway, and we knew we couldn't play any worse going out there in the second half. We just said win the 50-50s, you know, and have a go, move the ball quicker, and second half was a big improvement. We're still not, you know, still not pleased with the performance itself, but as I said, the three points, that's all we needed. I think what was evident in the second half was we got Martin Boyle involved in the game a lot more, and when he's involved, he causes defences problems. Well, with that pace that he's got, he hurts people, doesn't he? I mean, F has played him the ball down the wing, and I think he's the only person in the league that would have called that ball. Mm. Uh, and it's a good ball across and a, and a good finish. But yeah, if you can get him involved more with his pace, he causes problems. And such is football that Partick Thistle thought they'd taken the lead, but it was disallowed for offside. It maybe just affected their concentration for a few seconds and we capitalised on it. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it was offside or not. I just looked at when the ball went in the net and I could see out the corner of my eye the linesman's got his flag up. Yeah, we go up the other end and score a goal, but that's happened. You can't switch off. You know, decisions go against you. You've still got to be professional and carry on. One nothing though. The game's never safe, but a good finish from Paul Hanlon. It was a clever header. He looped it up over the goalkeeper. Well, it's funny because we did set pieces yesterday and I said to Paul, do you know what, I think you'll score today. So, yeah, so it was a good ball in and we worked on it in training on Friday and he's looped it over the head. It's a, it's a good header and it's a good goal. So he needed that second goal and it gives you a little bit of uh, leeway. And the important thing for us was taking the three points. We said with Aberdeen and Kilmarnock winning and Rangers dropping points, you know, that, that race for second spot at the moment is wide open. Well, it's like we said, we had a meeting at the start of the season. Where do we think we could finish? And they all said top six. So we're in fourth now. Um, it's a lot of football to play and we want to climb as high as possibly can. Um, as you said, if we win our game in Amber, a point behind Rangers. Uh, Aberdeen, they've got to go away to Motherwell and Hearts before the split. So it's, it's wide open. And a big one for us, though, on Tuesday night against Hamilton Ackies, a team that, you know, have proved a problem for us in the past. Well, they beat us earlier on the season, didn't they? 3-1. Mm. Uh, and we were poor again that day, and they fully deserved it. Then we went to their place, we drew one each. I think they had one shot and scored a goal. Uh, but Tuesday night's massive for us. Either, these next two games before the split, we need to win both. Uh, we need three points on Tuesday, no matter what. So, whether it's a game like that again, as long as we get over the line with the three points, I don't care.